Hey, this is Daniel from Top Solid Blog. Today we're going to take a look at how to create our own forming tools for sheet metal design in Top Solid 7. Okay, first up, we're going to create a part document. You all know how to do that, so we'll create one and give it a name, tool, for example. Next up, create a parameter for thickness. You'll find your parameters in the Entities tree, wherever you may have placed it. I have my Entities tree here to the left. Right-click Parameters, choose Real Parameter. Here you will choose Length. Assign any name really, but we'll keep it simple, so we'll just name it Thickness. Assign a value, 1 millimeter. why not? What we're going to do next is we're going to create three sketches. The first sketch will be for the subtraction entity. The second sketch will be for representation of the forming tool in the unfolding document. And the third and final sketch will be for the forming tool itself. Okay, so let's create the first sketch. Real simple. We'll give it some values 25, 12. Okay, so the first sketch is done. Now we're going to create the second sketch that will be for the representation of the tool on the unfolding document. Okay. This sketch can really be, it doesn't have to be like this. It can be multiple profiles if you like, and they have, don't have to be closed or anything. I'm sure you have your own profiles to identify tools in your CAM system, whatever it may be. Okay, that's done. Let's create the sketch for the forming tool. Okay. In this case, it doesn't have to be fancy. Do something like this. When that's done, we're going to extrude this. Just drag it out. Looks good, huh? Okay. Next, thicken this. You see this already has been assigned the value for the thickness parameter, but if it hasn't, click here and you will choose your parameter, thickness click OK. Next we're gonna extrude our subtraction unity entity I mean extrude Oops. just drag this down a bit assign the value which we will use the parameter for and here we will go for times Okay. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to apply two functions. Go up to tools and you go down to provide function. Here you choose standard forming subtraction and union. You will find these under functions in the entities tree. You right click, choose edit. 
For its thickness, you will assign the parameter we created earlier. The origin frame is the frame used for positioning the tool on your sheet metal part. It can be any frame anywhere, but in this case we're going to use the absolute frame. Subtraction shape, you already know this, it's the box. And the forming itself. Click OK. The next function is for the unfolding section. Okay, you will find this under functions as well. Right click and then choose your section like that. And we're done with this document, okay? We can save. Oops save document okay now we're gonna create a family document right click on the tab up here choose family go to your entities tree click generics here you will find your parameter one millimeter you drag it down to drivers okay click save all and we can check in our work now let's create a sheet metal part and try to apply our new forming tool. Just a simple part like this. Okay. You go up to your sheet metal tab and you will find standard forming. Here you have template document and hopefully you will find your new tool here. Here we have our tool copy. You see that the part is visible here as well and we're gonna come back to that later. Okay, just choose your family document. Place it somewhere on the sheet metal part like that. Click OK. Beautiful, huh? Okay, so Let's create the unfolding document. Just drag your sheet metal part in the unfolding document like that. Click OK. Up here you will find unfolding. Choose in place. Click OK. And we're gonna hide this like that and here's your unfolding nice huh okay so let's get back to the part being visible here the reason for this is that this is still a normal part and this is we're gonna create a virtual document so this will not be as it is now this part document will be visible in all searches we do so but this is not a real part that we will actually use so we will make this part a virtual document you go up to the top solid menu choose file and virtual document just click there save check in go here and you see here tool for the copy it's gone okay so that's how you create a sheet metal forming tool in Top Solid 7.